So question six. Question says it's a parametric equations question. So we've got an expression for uh, x in terms of t and y in terms of t and the range of parameters that t can follow. Ask us to find an expression for dy by dx. Well, firstly, we've got to remember using the chain rule that dy dx is dy by dt multiplied by dt dx. Now, we can find dy by dt, we can just differentiate this, and we can find dx by dt, and then find a reciprocal of that to get this. Um, and then multiplying those two points together is going to give us dy dx. So let's go. dy dt is equal to, well let's uh, differentiate this using a chain rule. So differentiate this is going to be differentiate the thing inside, so it's going to be cos, so it's going to be a 2 times the 2, which is 4, 4 cos t multiplied by just power by 1 sine t, that's just using a function of a function differentiation, and if I want to find dx by dt, um, I'm just going to differentiate 2 cot t. Now from our formula sheet, cot t goes to minus cos x squared, so you get minus 2 cos x squared t. And then if we flip that upside down, what we find is that, therefore, dt by dx is uh, minus half, well cos x squared is already 1 over sine squared, so when we flip it up, it comes the right way up, sine squared t. So if we come back over here, to find dy dx, we're just going to multiply these two things together. So we're going to get minus 2. Now we're going to get cos t from here, and then we're going to get a sine t from here, and a sine squared t from here, so we're going to get sine cubed t. So that's uh, an expression in terms of uh, expression for dy dx in terms of parameter t. Let's just take a copy of this and let's go to the next page. So it says now find an equation of the tangent to the curve at t equals a quarter. Well, let's bring in our expression that we had for dy dx, and we want to evaluate this at t equals pi over 4. We want to find out what the gradient is at this point. So it's going to be minus 2 cosine pi over 4, we're substituting pi over 4 for t here, just doing all on the calculator, we're going to get a minus. Um, my apologies. We are going to get minus a half. So the gradient at the point t equals uh, pi over 4, we're going to get the, the gradient is minus a half. Well, a tangent can, is a straight line. The straight lines can be expressed by y equals mx plus c. Now we've got our value of m, which is minus a half, and we can work out our value of uh, y and x by substituting in. We know that x is equal to 2 cot pi over 4, because we were finding it at that point there, which comes out as 2 and y, so we've now found x, y we can do the same thing, y is 2 sine squared of pi over 4, and that comes out as 1. So we, know, so we can substitute all those values in to find our uh, answer for c. So let's put these in. So 1 is equal to m is minus a half multiplied by 2 plus c, Minus it makes it minus one, so c comes up as t. 
2. Therefore, in y equals mx plus 4, the tangent can be given by the equation of the straight line y equals minus a half x plus 2. Now into part C. Um, we've got the expressions here again, and part C says find a Cartesian equation of the curve in a form y equals fx, and it says state the domain on which the curve is defined. Well, the first thing you notice to get a Cartesian equation is that often, because it involves sines or cosines, if we use the basic identity cos squared t plus sine squared t equals 1, we can um, we can use that to um, kind of rearrange if we divide everything by uh, cosine squared we get the other identity which is cos squared t plus 1 is equal to cosec squared t so if you divide everything by um, divide everything by sine squared sorry divide everything by sine squared gives us uh, this expression now we know something about cot we know that cot squared t well that's equal to well, rearranging this expression here that's equal to x over 2 squared plus 1 is equal to cosec squared t so therefore we know that x over 2 squared is equal to cosec squared t subtract 1 now if we expand out this here we're going to get x squared over 4 is equal to cosec squared t minus 1. Well, I know something about sine squared t. I know something about sine squared t. Well, sine squared is y over 2, so cosec squared must be 2 over y. So x squared over 4 is equal to 2 over y. That's from this expression up here. y over 2 is sine squared, so 1 over sine squared of cosec squared must be 2 over y. Subtract 1, and then all we've got to do is uh, rearrange this expression. So multiply everything by 4 and everything by y. So we get y x squared is equal to 8 minus 4 y and then let's bring this on this side equals to 8 y brackets x squared plus 4 is equal to 8 and then all we've got to do is just rearrange this now y is equal to 8 divided by x squared plus 4 now this last bit was a bit tricky and sometimes it can seem like these solutions come from nowhere but Often it's a good pl place to start with when you've got trigonometric expressions in a parametric equation is to start with cos squared plus sine squared. And then you notice that you could have, I could have done it a different way. I could have said that I noticed that the sine squared is to do with y and I could have got my expression here. I could have replaced this expression with um, sine squared is y over 2. So I could express this as y over 2 is equal to 1 and then cos squared t plus y over t equals 1 and then I could have had to uh, rearrange a cot in terms of uh, x but the cot was really the hard one to get rid of so starting with this kind of gives you a starting point but if it doesn't go any further then realise you have to use the other expression which comes from this one and that's um, using getting a cot expression in there okay